Next question is from KJ Biggs. If I were to open up your fridge and pantry, what would I see? What are the staples? <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. So do, do you guys have like certain staples that are always in your refrigerator? Yeah. So I have, I'll have Blocks like- of cheese. Quote. <laughs> yeah. all, two drawers. That's, that's all that's it about is. about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that is not an exaggeration or a lie because when we get up to Tahoe, that's well, exactly that one what time, it, yeah, yeah, we went to I Tahoe. I my true self. I opened up one of our drawers and I'm like, there's every fucking kind of cheese in this drawer right now. Like, <laughs> Dude, there was a shortage. I had to make sure that I was covered. <laughs> yeah. Cheese, hey man, if you can tolerate it, cheese is actually not bad at all. It's good for uh, you. Yeah. And, and so in my fridge, I'll have stuff that the kids can eat. So I'll have cheese. Uh, I like I like that as a snack for kids, yeah. especially if they can tolerate olives because my my daughter loves to snack um, on olives. I'll have some kind of vegetables that we're gonna make uh, for the day. Milk uh, for the kids in, in the morning. Uh, I'm trying to think what else are staples. I'll have bacon. Oh, yeah. um, I'll have meat that's been defrosted. That'll mm-hmm. probably be made for that day, or fish, or something like that. Um, what else is a is a is a staple in the fridge? Not pantry. I'll have cans of tuna fish. That's a good, easy source of uh, of protein. We'll have all the spices and stuff that you can use. We'll have some lemons. Typically, I'll use those in cooking. Uh, maybe some fruit. Some fresh fruit will be in there. And rarely will we have uh, something that would be like a a cookie mix or something that we're going to make cookies with the kids or something like that. Yeah. I mean, pretty similar. We we have like our freezer is filled with meat, like constantly. And then you go to defrost whatever is going to be, you know, dinner that, that night we'll, we'll put in the fridge and, or on the counter. And uh, besides that, I mean, it's, it's cheese. It's, it's, it's (laughs) deli meat. It's um, uh, like yogurts too. So we'll we'll do some Greek yogurt is, is a good snack and stuff like that for the kids. Um, and uh, other than that, uh, for the most part, we try and get uh, a lot of the freshness. This is one thing I really uh, respect about Courtney and like her uh, cooking. She she really tries to to maintain as much uh, fresh produce as possible. And so we do this, uh, you know, this. Cl- I always forget the name of it, uh, by the way. But it's it's <laughs> it's like this community thing where you get a box of of vegetables and fruit from a local farmer. And so we go pick that up. Uh, the beginning of the week, and we try and use it all up before it all uh, rots right in front of us. So uh, that's been a great, uh, uh, you know, addition to uh, all of our diets for sure. So I'll I'll take you through my refrigerator, uh, and we have a lot of magic spoon, yes, yeah, <laughs> shelf by <laughs> shelf, uh, because I would say it, it looks pretty similar to what it is uh, right now is what it normally always is. Uh, the top shelf is uh, the different types of, of uh, milk, like so almond milk and uh, coconut milk next to Max's milk, breast milk. So that's don't mix uh, them up. Yeah, yeah. So that's a, <laughs> that's the top shelf. Uh, then underneath that is normally a bunch of things of Tupperware, which is always uh, leftovers. We always tend to cook in bulk, uh, and next to that is all of uh, Max's food. So Katrina. When she meal preps for us, she meal preps also for uh, Max's food, all his uh, mixes for the week. And that's normally things like broccoli and, you know, uh, broccoli and blueberries, I think was yesterday. And, you know, avo- uh, avocado and, uh, you know, uh, chicken. And she she blends it all up and makes his baby food. So that's next to that. Uh, underneath that shelf is uh, where the eggs are all at. And then the overflow of veggies because we have, uh, we have a veggie drawer, but we probably have more veggies and fruit than anything else in our refrigerator like probably justin and sal uh, we we tend to have tons of that there's always a massive broccoli head in there there's always a huge bag or multiple bags of brussels sprouts i eat a lot of brussels sprouts uh, and normally a few heads of asparagus uh, that are in there and then the bottom drawer is whatever meat that i've taken out of the freezer so we have a freezer in the garage one of the big deep freezers that is full to the brim of mostly butcher box meat um, that's in there and I'll normally pull out. It goes into the bottom drawer. I know that's what I'm either prepping and cooking on the barbecue or Katrina is using the uh, Instapot or the air fryer. We use that all the time. And then as far as pantry stuff, we really don't have a lot of boxed can type foods um, like Justin. I have ma- my magic spoon is on the counter. That's my one treat. Uh, I, I, I'm the type of person, um, could, this is different than Katrina. If it was up to Katrina, our house wouldn't look like this. Thank God she was okay uh, with with being this way because she recognizes this about me. Is I'm really good uh, by not keeping things in the house. Like I won't eat it. Like mm-hmm. I I don't crave chips that bad. I don't even need ice cream, candy, all the even with my sweet tooth. I will not like 
get up out of my out of my couch and go drive to get something like that. And so by keeping it out of the cupboards, I know that I won't go dive into it because I have I a really same thing. I have a really bad habit of like I can't she can do this, right? She can go have two chips or she can go have two M&Ms. How? I know, I know. Dude, that's crazy. She can do that. She can grab she can buy a, a like a, a you know, a, you know, a king size bag of peanut M&Ms, put it in the freezer and she that it'll last a month. You know, if we're just like one impossible, or, yeah, and it, eat those. And that's not me. Like I will, whatever it is, if it's a treat, I will eat the whole thing if I do it. And and I'll most know, people are like that. I I feel that I know I can't be alone in this, right? Oh. And I know that I choose those types of foods when I'm Netflixing and chilling, right, at night. And it's it has that. And I know this about myself that I have these behaviors. And one of the best ways for me to break those is to buy not allow it into the house. So I think. That's why we keep those. So if I'm really craving something, I got to go in the refrigerator and get creative with the whole foods that we have. That's actually yeah. a great. Um, yeah. I mean, that's what I, that's how I'd coach my clients. I'd say, don't if if you if there are foods that are treats and things that you think you want to have seldomly, don't keep them in the house. Create create the barrier to where if you need it, you have to go drive the store yeah. and get yourself a single serving because if it's there and it's present and it's that accessible, the odds are you'll be stressed, tired, watching something. Maybe you had a little bit of wine, whatever. You're gonna go and grab it, and then eat more of it than you. We than you do, a, yeah. And I'm not trying to hide the fact that I do have some vices. Like there's, uh, we do drink, and you know, occasionally, and then also like, uh, like chips make their way in and out of our house quite yeah. often. Yeah. We always have too I, uh, on that second shelf of. It, I always have a massive thing of uh, rice that we pre cooked. We're always cooking rice. Rice is like the the staple pair with every meat that we have so yeah. it's like a go-to uh, i do mix in of course sweet potatoes and yams things like that uh, and regular potatoes but the go-to is almost always there is a rice and a green in there that we have either cooked from the night before or have to cook that day and then whatever meat that we're mixing and i i have fallen in love katrina too with the instapot the instapot has been like a savior for us. It's just, it's so, once you learn how to use it, I think that's what most people complain about is just all the buttons and gadgets on it. But once you figure it all out, it, beep, 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 it, beep. it, it cooks it cooks dishes so amazing and you can kind of like throw everything in it and then it makes it so quick too and it's easy clean. So that's been a staple for us. Excellent.